Hi everyone, David Mela here, and today we're going to do some really cool and interesting. I'm going to quickly show you how to uh, basically project or forecast Bitcoin, and I'm going to, we're going to do it in Power BI. I'm going to show you how, where to get the data, how to, what it looks like once you get it, and then how to get it in here and how to make a cool looking dashboard like this. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is we need to go to Yahoo Finance. That's the easiest way to get it that I've found. Uh, once on Yahoo Finance, you go and enter in uh, the company that you want. In this case, we're doing Bitcoin. So it's BTC slash USD, dash like that. And once you've done that, you're going to come down here and you're going to enter in the time period you want. In this case, I'm doing from February 3rd of 2017 to February 3rd of 2022. You're going to see the historical prices daily. You hit apply. The data all shows down below like this. And then you just hit download. Once you download, it exports it to a CSV. Let me show you what that looks like here real quick. So if we go in here, uh, where do I have that? Uh, here it is right here. So here is our data right there. And you can see you have a date column, open column, high, low, close, adjusted close, and your volume. You have those. And we're basically going to be sticking with this one right here, the close. That's what we're going to be most interested in. And because that's what it closed in today, you could pick at the others if you wanted to. There's more variance in the others. We just want the close. What did it close at at the end of the day? What was the price at the end of the day? So we're going to look at that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go right back in here. So once you've got that, you're going to load it in as an Excel sheet. So you would go in here, get data, Excel workbook, and you would find it and load it in there. And then you find whatever it is loaded in. Once it's loaded in, it comes in like this. You've got your columns here, as you just as I just showed you. You have your adjusted close, your close, your date, your high, your low, your open, and your volume is all there. Once you open it, you have your filters, your visualizations, and of course your fields. So you can see it better here if I go and close them all down like this in Power BI. Now, as I open them, I'm going to show you what we're doing here. So let's open them all up here. So what we have here first is this one right here. We're taking close and we've got a line graph right here. So we click this line graph and we go down here and we're going to fill in the various pieces right here of on this first one, which is the uh, fields, the fields, you have format, and then you have your analytics. We'll use this one last. So you're going to your fields, you're going to have your date for your axis, right? And then your values. In this case, we're using the close. That's all we have that gives us this. It doesn't give us this little bit here. To get that, I have to go here, and I go all the way to the bottom, and there's this thing called forecast. I want to create a forecast. So I create a forecast called forecast one. Uh, in this case, I'm doing 90 days because I've got five years of data, so that's why I want to have. I, mean, I could have looked at a longer period, but that's long enough. You don't want to go much out beyond 90 days because you're, uh, as you see, the uh, funnel opens up and gets wider and wider as you go along, which means you're much less uh, accurate in your forecast. So you want to stick with a shorter, like three months to 90, 90 days, 30 days to 90 days. So then we go down this and we look at ignore the last year days. I'm not doing that. Uh, that's if you're doing a test control, possibly something like that. A confidence interval, I'm looking at 90% here. And seasonality, how many points you want to put in there? 240 points looks like a lot, but keep in mind, you basically want to have about five points um, per uh, day, or if, I mean five days per point. So what you want to do is you want to look at how many days you have in here. If I've got over five years worth, right, I'm going to have a lot of holidays. We're going to have like 36 holidays or so per year. Plus, we're going to have a lot of days of bad weather, um, all kinds of economic and other influences and stuff like that. So seasonality takes that into account. And so in this case, I'm doing a high number of 240 points to get a more realistic projection from that. And that's how I did that. If I did one year, I would have a lot less. I'd probably be looking at like 20 instead of 240 points. Um, so that's how that works. And that's how I end up with this graph. Once you hit OK, it does this. And you've got that um, extra in here, which shows the forecast. All I have on top of that is we've got an image here for Bitcoin I put in there. This is a... Uh, if I click on this, let me show you. This is a slider right here, or slicer. And uh, basically, it's based on the date column. So if you look at that, you go back here. You've got date there. This is the minimum of lows. So that's the lows it's going to be. And this is the maximum of close. So that's what I did was I put those in there. 
uh, just to show what's the low, what's the high. I could have put the variance in there, which is, or the volume, which this one shows the volume. So you can see the volume goes up as it goes along from 2000 to 2002, right here with a high peak in 2021 at one point. Um, and then you've got the average of the close. What is the average through this? So obviously, you know that Bitcoin, if you look right here and you hover over it, has a high of 62,000. And they're hovering in the 40s, you know, right around 40,000 thereabouts right now. It's projected to go down a little bit or stay the same, which is what they're saying here. And our average is 16,000. So it gives you an idea of quickly of where it's going. Most likely, obviously, if you have a question on what kind of forecasting Power BI does, how is this determined? It's uh, smoothing, um, exponential and logarithmic smoothing is what they use per the uh, Power BI forum and uh, Microsoft team. Uh, so I hope you found this interesting informational. These are just cards over here. This is another uh, graph over here. Um, if I click on this, it's not a line graph. It's now a stack column chart. That's the only difference. So that's how I ended up with this. And you can actually look at that and, uh, and change up the projections and uh, quickly look at, uh, you know, trending and see where things are going and what, you know, if I were to invest in that. But now keep in mind, this is not investment advice. This is, I'm just telling you how to create a dashboard like this, how you would look at this data. And, you know, you can quickly look at it and see if it's a good investment or not for yourself. Um, and again, if you want an investment advice, go find a financial advisor. I am not a financial advisor. I'm just showing you how to take the data from Yahoo Finance, export it to a CSV, and then inject it into Power BI, which is what we did. Put it in here, and then to look at the data and uh, graph it, visualize it, and get some forecasts from it. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this interesting and informational. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share so you don't miss any other great videos I have coming out. And have a great day. Thanks.